Hello, and welcome to Friday. It's the end of another week. We made it. So for those of you who live in the same state that I do, which is Victoria, you've got school holidays now for kids, if you have kids. So it's breaking time. Hopefully we'll get those numbers down. My local area, my state, the state that I live in is not doing great when it comes to coronavirus case numbers. Anyhow, what's happening today? What happened yesterday? So I made good progress yesterday. Now, now what the skill does is it mixes in the ambience for evasive maneuvers and it mixes in the ambience for the damage level. So there's warning klaxons and there's like a robotic um, ship alert. And I'm pretty happy with that. The sound is, is expectedly, it's a mess. There's a lot going on in there. But yesterday was a really, it was a, I'm, I feel like... Uh, there's always this thing in my head where I should be spending more time working like in front of everything, even though, you know, because I, I, it takes me a while. It takes me a while at the moment to start the day to warm up because life is a lot. And so I, I tend to work late. And so there's always this thing in my head of like, I should be, you know, wake, even though I know it's silly. I know. I mean, I did a, I talked about this like last week or the week before, but it feels like at the moment, it feels like at the moment the core truths are kind of like flotsam floating in a, sh in a shipwreck that we can hold on to them for a while, but then when we reach for something else, we can lose hold of something that's vital to us. And so I know that that time to spin up is super important and it, it's my brain working through like what I'm doing. But yeah, I always feel like I should be doing more. But on that, <laughs> even with all of that, yesterday I was really happy with what I did because I did some basic sound design. Very elementary stuff, but I needed some maneuvering jets. And so I went through the sound effects libraries that I have and I thought, mm, okay, well, what works? And I found some hairspray. I found some, some sounds of hairspray being sprayed. And I just ran a distorter, just punched it to maximum. And it sounds pretty good. It sounds pretty good. Like I've added, there's two layers to it. It's very, like I'm saying, it's very, very basic. I'm sure that anyone who does sound design professionally would look at this and go, well, it's not great. But, you know, it's not the point. It's just sketching stuff out for this week. And so there's two layers. One pitch shifted down a little bit more to add a bit more bass and presence. But both of them are distorted to all heck. Um, and they sound, they sound really good as maneuvering thrusters. And I've got those groans in there as well. I got some, um, I got some metallic creaks. And I, again, like I just pitch shifted them down so that they sounded a little bit more deliberate and slow. So it wasn't a sudden impact. It wasn't something suddenly going like I'm complaining. It was that what you want, you know, when you hear a ship or something like that straining under pressure or submarines is always the classic cinematic one. Just that slow groan uh, of metal under strain. And, I'm, and then I used FMOD leveraging the work that happened in the consults just to do some basic, just to put together some basic um, some basic ambience using scatterer instruments, which meant that I was able to get FMOD to do the work of creating random, randomly timed events. And so it felt like it was tying together a few things. I always feel like there's more that I should be tying into this stuff, but it's a proof of concept. And I'm very deliberately stripping back like what I'm doing for this three weeks is all about it's all about dynamic audio. Like I, I wanted to bring in the Discord integration as well, but it's not about making this a complete experience at the moment. I'm focusing on other stuff and I feel like I'm, I'm moving in good directions. So what's happening today? Today, there are two specific intents that I wanna to put together. One is, the, one is the requesting a surrender and the other one is getting a status report, uh, which, and both of those are very straightforward. They're very straightforward. They're not gonna have any impact on anything else. It's just, going to be a, it's just going to be a matter of just writing, just writing some quick lines and recording those. Because what I want is the difference in emotional state for your second in command as you change the damage level of the ship. So along with the warning klaxons, like I want him when there is critical damage, I want him to sound desperate or harried. I want him to acknowledge that, you know, things are not going well. Because I feel like that's the last component of what that's the last ingredient that I think I can add to this soup. It's just that emotional element of, of danger, of stakes. So yeah, so that's it. And I'm going to do both of those. I've been thinking through how I'm going to plan my day. I'm going to sit down and do both of those. And then I'm going to do, I've got some PC configuration that I lost when my PC died. 
that I want to rebuild, which supports, uh, which is configuration that supports streaming, but I'm going to make sure that I get these intents done first. So that's my day. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope that the weekend is going to bring you some respite, some rest and restoration when you get there. And I look forward to talking to you next week. Be well and be safe. See you soon.